Hi scholars, today um, in this video, we're going to have a tool talk. Now, have I told you that I like tools? Well, today we're going to learn about a tool sort of like this one. We're going to learn about how to read a timeline. So by the time we're done with this video and this lesson, you'll be able to say, I can read a timeline. So let's get started. How do we read a timeline? Well, first of all, uh, let's take a look at our standard. We've got our objectives for the lesson. So um, the objective says students can use timelines to study the chronology of historical events. Now, this is from our Missouri state standards. So first of all, let's talk about that question. How do we read a timeline? But before we begin with that, let's th take a look at two other questions. First, what is a timeline and why use a timeline? All right, first, what is a timeline? A timeline is a tool to help us study history. It's a graphical representation of historical events, which really just means it's a picture. And a timeline gives us events in chronological order. Now, chronological order, remember, just means that it's in time order or the order in which things happened. All right, so why use a timeline? Well, timelines help us to see historical events in chronological order. It's a picture, so it helps us to see, and that way we can study and sort of learn about which events happen first and next. And so we use timelines to think chronologically, and that's a very important skill. We'll talk about that in another video. All right, so many history textbooks use timelines to show events in chronological order. We can look at the timeline to see when things happened. And some timelines are really simple. Uh, others are really complex with too much information. And then there's some kind of in the middle that have pictures and text and really help us to understand history. So how do you read a timeline? Well, first of all, you want to notice a title. Uh, uh, and how much time the timeline covers. Then we want to look at uh, the intervals or the units of time on the timeline. And we want to find the earliest event or date. And uh, most timelines that we'll use are horizontal, so you'll read them from left to right. All right, so let's take a look at a timeline. The title of this one is history events of the past 60 years. And you'll, if you look at the timeline, you can see it runs from 1960 all the way up to today. And the first event on this timeline is Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Then in 1969, the first man on the moon. 1977, a pop singer named Elvis Presley died. He was very popular. Uh, then in 1989, a popular television phenomenon called The Simpsons, that show started. In 1993, Bill Clinton became president, and he served for eight years. So we'll show that on the timeline with a, a longer period there. And uh, in 2005, there was a hurricane called Katrina that uh, really had an impact on the country. And in 2009... Uh, Barack Obama became uh, president, and he was also president for eight years, and so we'll show that with a period of time. And one more event, uh, in 2021, there was the attack on the U.S. Capitol. So, so you can just see how we can put all of these events in order on a timeline. All right, so now let's practice a little bit, and let's um, use... Uh, uh, a timeline and kind of figure out how we can answer some questions here. So read the timeline, use it to answer the question. First question, how long are the intervals shown on this timeline? Remember uh, that an interval is the amount of time for each unit on the timeline. So here's one interval, and you'll notice it uh, covers just one small unit on the timeline, and if we add in the other dates here, we can see that this interval goes from 19, the one highlighted here goes from 1980 to 1985. So how long is that interval? Each interval on this timeline then represents five years. All right, so 
The next question, when did the first man go to the moon? So now it's asking one of the events on the timeline itself. So uh, we just look at the timeline and find the first man on the moon and we go down and look and the answer is right there. And so there is that one of our choices? Of course, 1969, first man on the moon. Next question asks, who was president first? So now it's kind of chronological thinking. What came first? Was Obama president first or was Clinton president first? And again, we see that Clinton is listed on the timeline to the left of Obama, which means he's first. He was in 1993. Obama became president later. So who was president first? Clinton. Bill Clinton was president before. Uh, Barack Obama. And let's try one more question. Now let's put some events in chronological order. Remember, chronological order is time order. So let's look at these four events and put them in order. And the first of these four events, the earliest one or the first one on the list is the first man on the moon. So we would mark that one with a one. It was number one or the first. Uh, the next one, uh, is Bill Clinton became president and, and then Obama became president. And then the fourth event would be the attack on the U S Capitol. Well, um, there you go. That is how you read a timeline. And so now you know how to read a timeline and we'll, uh, move on to some practice.